gross. My baby brother made another disgusting diaper. I wish he could change them himself. I think every parent wishes a baby could change their own diapers. Have you ever smelled a dirty diaper? My name is Zach, and this is Keys for Kids. If you have little brothers or sisters, then you know how stinky a dirty diaper can be. Before you laugh too much, remember this. We all have had our diapers changed when we were babies. We were too young to clean ourselves up. It's that way with sin, too. No one can take their own sin away. Only Jesus can. 1 John 1.9 says if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And now for our story, it's entitled The Dirty Diaper. Ooh, Dad, that stinks! Callie held her nose dramatically. Dad placed her baby brother on the changing table and unzipped his jammies. Cash just needs a diaper change, that's all. He smiled down at the baby who wriggled on the mat. Let's get you cleaned up, buddy. Callie looked on as Dad worked on cleaning up the baby. She scrunched her nose and frowned. I don't know how you can do that every day, she said. Don't you and Mom ever get tired of changing his diaper? Dad chuckled. <laughs> well, Callie, I won't lie to you. I didn't always have a very good attitude about changing diapers. When you were a baby, I may have even grumbled a few times. Was I as stinky as Cash? Callie asked. Maybe even stinkier, Dad teased. Why don't you still have a bad attitude? Callie asked. Dad fastened the new diaper onto his son and zipped up the jammies. It wasn't anything I did, he said. But over time, as I changed more and more diapers, the Lord reminded me of something. Dad picked up Cash and gave him a kiss on his chubby cheek. He helped me realize that he does something similar for me. Callie raised her eyebrows, confused about what Dad could mean. Cash isn't able to clean himself, Dad said. He's just a baby. He needs someone to wash all the icky stuff off his skin and put him in a fresh diaper. And that's sort of how it is with me. The Lord helped me realize that just like a baby needs someone to clean them, I needed Jesus to clean me of my sin. And it's not something I can do on my own. Jesus washed me clean and made me a new person when I trusted in Him, and He continues to show me His grace and forgiveness each day. And so you don't mind changing diapers now because doing it reminds you of Jesus? That's right. It's always an opportunity for me to remember how much my Father in Heaven loves me and how His mercy and grace cleanse me from all my sin. Well, how about you? Have you experienced the cleansing forgiveness of Jesus? It's impossible to clean ourselves from sin and make ourselves worthy of eternal life with God. Only Jesus can do that. Because of His life, sacrifice on the cross, and victory over death, He has the power to take away our sin and make us clean. So, has He done that for you? To learn more about what it means to trust in Jesus, get your parents' permission first, then go to keysforkids.net slash salvation. Our key verse is 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And our key thought for today, Jesus washes away our sin. You know what? I love to hear from listeners just like you. So if you ever have a question about God or the Bible or anything else, you can send it to me. I'll do my best to answer right away. Plus, every time a new issue of the Keys for Kids print devotional comes out, we include some of those questions we receive from kids like you. Who knows, your question might be in the next issue. So send them my way. Just go to keysforkids.org slash heyzach. I'm Zach. Thanks for joining me on Keys for Kids. Keys for Kids.